All right, here we go. We're going to look at the new match beta feature for Ancestry.com and see just how powerful it is in helping you determine who your relatives are. What we have here is a friend who uh, is not entirely sure of their tree and their ancestry. Uh, there was adoption, uh, adoption by parents, uh, there's a lot of confusion and really looking to find out what's real and what's not. Now they have a tree that they made based on stories that they've figured out over the years and we're going to go into the DNA and see if we can figure out and prove some of this. So the first thing we're going to do is here in Extras, Ancestry Lab. And in Ancestry Lab it's got a couple of things. It's got new and improved DNA features and we're going to enable this feature. And that's a very important one. Now, we're going to go ahead and turn on the My Tags, but we're not going over that today. Uh, in fact, let's turn that back off because uh, we're not going over that today. So now that we've turned on the new and improved DNA matches, we go to the DNA matches like we always have, but the page is going to be different. You notice how it's thinner, and uh, this is matches, add a filter, and we really don't know who that this is. So now what I'm going to do uh, here is I'm going to open uh, the tree that he has. So we've got Cooper and Dunn, Dunn, Herb, Hardesty, Orr. Uh, but you notice Hardesty is a son of Orr because there was an adoption. Dunn, uh, son of Hardesty because there was no father there. So, you know, there's a lot of confusion in this tree. And so, you know, we're kind of looking for it. Now, what he does know, and we'll go back to this is his grandmother. He was raised by uh, Ralph Dunn and, and Maisie Cooper who were his grandparents on this side and they raised him for many years and so we're going to you know look at this and we're going to just kind of start with Dunn and Cooper to, to find out. So the first thing we notice is that there's a close first cousin of a Harley Cooper 812 centimorgans. So uh, we know that this is most likely says this Harley Cooper, but this Harley Cooper is three generations back and they were deceased. They did not take a DNA test. This is most likely a son of Harley Cooper and a brother of Maisie Cooper. Upon contacting Josh, he did say that he did have, you know, his. Uh, grandmother Maisie and a great uncle that was Harley and he was surprised that he didn't make the result you know the connection on his own but we're going to use this as a starting point because we now know that there is a Harley in our match list right here that is a brother now why is it 850 and showing as a first cousin when it's a great uncle well that's a great question and for that we're going to go to another website and uh, Let's see, DNA Painter, DNA Painter.com. And uh, we're going to go to the tools and go to the shared Cinemorgans. And again, we got 812. So we're going to type in 812 in the shared. And you notice how it has shaded out everybody that it can't be. So here's self. This is where you or Josh would be in this case. Now, it could be a first cousin, and that's what Ancestry shows, but this isn't a first cousin. It could also be not a great-grandparent, but down one, a grandparent sibling, a great-aunt or uncle. Again, these matches 874 Cinemorgans, 914 Cinemorgans. So, turns out that this is indeed his great-uncle. And that's great news. We, we now have DNA Cinemorgans that measure that this is the right distance. We have a name, Harley Cooper, which is the son of Harley Cooper. Uh, Maisie has confirmed that that is indeed a brother. So now we have a start person. This is very important. So we're going to go to Harley Cooper. Okay. It says first cousin, even though he's a great uncle. And we're going to do view all shared matches. Now this, this is where this becomes very powerful. We're going to create a custom group. And in this custom group, I'm going to call it paternal, and then we're going to say Cooper. 
And uh, because it's paternal, I like to go with uh, a blue. We'll go with kind of a darker blue, the, the paternal Cooper, and we'll go lighter blue on the other one. So we're going to view all of our matches again. And these are the shared matches with Harley Cooper. See this right up here? Okay. All these people are DNA related to you and Harley Cooper. And the fact that he's an uncle makes it even better because you know it has to be through the Cooper line. So this is where this gets really good. We're going to come here and say flag it as paternal Cooper. And we're going to do this for everybody that's above oh, 100 centimorgans. Maybe we'll even go down to 50 centimorgans. We're at 108 right there. Uh, for time, you know, we'll, we'll, there's the list. We'll just go down to 50 as a general rule and it starts getting below 50 there's so much variance that uh, you know you don't know where exactly they match let's see 53 52 there's a 52 so we'll start with this one go up to Cooper and see how easy this is we're just going to flag it they're already starred and the reason these people are starred is previously the only thing they had in ancestry was either a star or no star so it broke everybody up on the uh, paternal side with stars and everybody that wasn't was unstarred but now you've got this color coding feature so there we've got everybody on that side on the, the Cooper side and uh, well see now they've got it where it auto fills so if you pull down you could actually just keep pulling down and pulling down and so you, you've got to kind of draw a line and so for us 50 centimorgans is going to be it so we go back to the DNA page. We're going to view all. And so now we've got to flag Harley Cooper himself. So as we look through this list, we start seeing, okay, there's some Harley Coopers in there. There's some Coopers. GC, there's another, but that's a, a Cooper probably. So we're going to look at the tree again. We're looking for Duns, Herbs, and Ores. Duns, herbs, and ores. Okay, so these you want to look at your close cousins, your first and second cousins. Those really are your key because it's easier to find tree information or contact them and they have information. So here's a pretty strong one at 641. And so let's look at this unlinked tree. So, ah, look at what we find here. We find a George Dunn with an Earl Dunn with a pearl. And over here, we have a George Dunn. Okay, so we know this one is going to be 1865. And George Dunn it doesn't have it, but the son is... Uh, Well, we're pretty sure that that one's it. Now, for the sake of brevity, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that we did confirm this one as a Dunn match. So that's the father on the Dunn side. So what we would do here is we're going to do a compare and view all. And we're going to create a new group. <laughs> Paternal Dunn. And we're going to pick a light blue in this case. We're going to view all of our matches with Judy Skidmore. And we're going to do done. We're going to do the same thing we did before. Everybody above 50 centimorgans. We do this light blue. Let's see. Now, here's interesting. This one actually is related to both. Now that doesn't mean that Dunn and Cooper were related. It just means that this person actually has a tree branch that goes to both people. And you notice that that didn't go nearly as far down. Okay. So when we went to 50 Cinemorgans, that was uh, just a few people on the tree. So they, that uh, Garner, that could be a brother or sister or something of that nature. We don't know yet. So we're going to go back to the main results again, and uh, we'll take a look at the new update. And you see we're starting to get these. Well, now we know this is paternal side. 
Oh no, this is the uh, done that we started with. We know the ones that don't have anything like Hester here and DW and Dobbins. We know that this is on the maternal side. Now we're looking for uh, Herb, or Gephardt, Holiday, Sims, Francis, Reynolds, or Orr. So, do we have anything in the trees? Now, here's a large tree. Let's take a look at this tree. So, do we, do we have any of the ones that we're looking for? We have Baker, Bright, Crow, Holiday, Miller, Sailor, Seacrest, Becker, Brown, Herb. All right, here's Herb. We've got uh, Johan Herb, George Herb, David uh, Otto Herb, Herbert Otto Herb. And on the tree, we had the herbs. We have David Otto Herb, 1888. David Otto Herb, 1888. Okay, so we've got a match now for the herbs. So we know that this person is Herb. So this is going to be uh, the, oh, I've got that backwards. I called that paternal there, so I'll have to, <laughs> I'll have to edit those. All right, so let's do that first. Uh, so if you make a mistake, let's see, go to DNA Home, open a new window, and go to the matches. Yeah, it, it's good that I made an error there, but wasn't it? <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to pick the paternal done. Now the edit group is up here, and that's maternal done. Maternal done. And we're going to change that to pink. Da, 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 da. And now we're going to edit group again. Not that one. We're, let's go to the Cooper. Edit group. Maternal Cooper. And we're going to make that dark pink. All right. So now we've <laughs> put that <laughs> appropriately. So we can close that tab back out. So now we're back on to the uh, paternal herb. So this. We're going to do a comparison with Rebecca Dobbins. We're going to view all shared matches. We're going to create a group. And we're going to call it Paternal Herb. Okay. And we're going to give it the color here. All right. So now we're going to view all the matches with Rebecca. And looky here. We've got some that cross over. So let's look at this. We got a DW. And we got George Herb. Okay. So we've got them already flagged as who again? Because they're they're done. And herb. We know for a fact they're herb. Why did we think that they're Cooper? Let's look at that again. DW. Let's go all shared matches. Is it because they were with Judy Skidmore? I'll be darned. The Duns and the Herbs were related. All right. Well, see, that's what it, uh, <laughs> that's the power of this thing. So we would have never known that looking at the trees in the old form. We would have simply looked at the trees and said, oh, you know, there's people in this family, people in that family, uh, star or no star. We would have only caught one or the other. But by adding the color coding, uh, we've now really changed the power of this thing. So now here's here's the great thing. So we're going to go back to uh, our DNA results summary and go to our DNA matches. Pull off Judy, keep the tree, keep the painter. All right, so we have people here who aren't in any group. Actually, Rebecca is the one that was the herb that we started with. Sorry. So we're going to have to go down a little further for nobody. Here we go. Ariel Good. So this is the first person that we don't have 
uh, in our list. So we're looking now for our last branch of the tree. And we could already just flag these people because we know that if they're not one of these three branches, they're in this branch. We're going to look for a little confirmation. So we're looking for or Reynolds, Francis, or Sims to be in this or line. So we've got Francis here. Uh, we've got a George and a Henry Francis. Yes, look at this, George and Henry Francis. We don't have that, so uh, they come up through a different a different line. So uh, we want to be you know accurate to our stuff. So we've got a Dennis Gray, no tree. We're going to look for somebody with a tree so we can uh, find out here. Uh, Claude has no tree. Abigail has a tree. And uh, Rodney Gray has a tree. He's got 307 people, and it says a common ancestor hint. So we're going to look for that common ancestor hint. We're, again, we're looking for Orr, Reynolds, Francis, or Sims. We come over here. Well, let's just do it this way. Uh, or Reynolds. We've got a Reynolds and a Francis. So a Reynolds and a Francis. Could be either one of those lines. Uh, let's look at uh, Francis Edward, Sophia, Lester, George, Joseph. Joseph. We've got a Joseph there. 1871, 1871. Washington, Ohio, Washington, Ohio. So this joins in the Francis line. So now we have somebody that we can confirm is in that line. So let's go to the comparison tool. And we're going to go to view all shared matches. And there's that Abigail and Ariel Good that uh, we saw before. But we're going to create a group. And this is going to be paternal or. And we're going to go over here and make it a dark blue. And now we're going to, I don't know why it makes it go away like that. And it's kind of annoying. But OK, we're going to add paternal or to these people. Again, we just limited this to 50 Cinemorgans. You can take that down to 30 or 20. Uh, there comes a point where the Cinemorgan match is so small that uh, while it's nice to identify what branch they're in, it's really not going to be useful for your research. So here we, we have everybody. Here we'll just do one more below. And uh, let's do a couple of more trees. So we'll go down with trees just so we can look at them again. And that's a, a nice little feature where it says, okay, you have a common ancestor right here. So this PA has a common ancestor. So let's just look at that. And what it's saying is uh, I've got a common ancestor in, I guess, James. Uh, Sarah James and Joseph McDonald. Don't know how that is, but evidently it says it, it's identified a common ancestor. So now we've gotten everybody uh, figured out as far as our matches. There's all of our matches. And let's see if we've got anybody that's not color coded. So you've got a color code of the Cooper group. And we've got right here, we've got the Dunn group. And here we've got the herbs. And you come on down here. We've got the ores. And so now we know which one of these people to contact to find out. Now, Rodney Gray, we know he was the ore because he was the person that we looked for. Uh, Henry Kearns, unlinked tree. And we didn't match him at 93 Cinemorgans. So we've got a couple here that didn't match in the comparisons to any one of our trees. Now, what this means is there's at some point a variation in the tree. So at 93 Cinemorgans, uh, let's look at what DNA Painter says that their most likely uh, kinship is. So at 93 Cinemorgans, they're probably at a third cousin level. So it could be a second cousin twice removed or first cousin third removed. Uh, we've got a, probably a removed here, so we're probably looking at a third cousin or a situation here. So that means that at the great great grandparent level, 
there was probably a secondary marriage or something uh, out of wedlock that wasn't documented that does show up in the DNA. And that's where paper trails are a little hard to follow sometimes. Uh, doesn't mean that your research is wrong because your research is on a paper trail. But what that says is somewhere around that second great grandparent, everybody at that second great grandparent level, uh, you need to look and see if there was a second marriage because this person is related through a, a secondary person, which also means that there could be you know some tree mistakes, which means that in one of those nodes, somebody is matched up with us. And we'll just go look at this. Okay, let's see this parent. Somebody in here had a second marriage, either a husband or a wife, and while their DNA, you know, the wife and the kids all matched, there's a second one that matched, but the people we flagged came off the other one. So if we were flagging Harley Cooper, see the Coopers, the, we flagged Harley, which was down here, son of Opal and stuff. So all these would be there. But let's assume that Harley had uh, Harley Jr. with not Opal, but someone else, which means people that came up this line and down would be different than people that came up this line. So these people that matched from Harley here up uh, wouldn't match necessarily. So a few of these are matches were up here. So it's most likely on this side of the tree. But anyway, so the main thing is, you know, the flagging of the ancestors and making them color coded to see which branch that they're in to make this extremely easy. I hope this helped you.